Hi, good morning. <laughs> good morning. How are you, Jesse? Hi, Kelly. Hi, Lucas. Thanks for joining us this week. Good morning. Good morning to you, Lucas. Thank you for joining us. This is early morning for you over there in Colorado. Of course. I'm glad you. Okay, good. Well, for those of you who follow us, last week we started our label plugin part one series where we walked through the basics of using the label plugin. This week we promised you we'd go through a little more yeah. of a detailed uh, view of the label plugin. So this week we're going to show you how to add a call number, uh, how to change the font, and how to change some colors <laughs> from the label plugin. So let's start by going into the plugins first. So once that plugin is installed, and again, you can watch uh, Label Maker Part 1 to, to go through those steps. We're gonna go into Administration, and we are gonna jump down to the bottom where we have our plugins. That's where we are going to manage plugins um, from our screen. What are we calling this, a deep dive, Jesse, into Label Plugins? Yes, a deep dive into label plugins. Um, so from here, we're going to jump in and we're going to come over to actions. Now, when you click run tool, you might think, oh, this is me printing my labels. This is taking you in to customize your labels. <laughs> Kelly and I were talking about that earlier. So um, section where you're going to have your templates, your layouts, and your printer profiles. Now, the label creator comes set up with two existing templates in the system. So you'll have one for Avery standard labels and one for basic. Basic is going to give you those three layouts uh, where most libraries are you know, generally printing a spine label and then two additional labels, um, whether it's for barcodes or perhaps the inside of a book cover or the back cover of a DVD. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to just adjust these and show you a little more advanced options that you have. So let's come down to the bottom and we're going to start with our, our template first. Now remember, if you watched us last week, template is the opposite of what it is in the label creator. So in the template, this is where we're going to control um, the information that populates on the um, label itself. So I'm going to come down here to my basic. Um, we've made a copy, which we suggest if, if you're starting out, you know, make a copy first. Don't mess up the original. Just make <laughs> whatever you do. Copy, yep. copy, copy. And you can see there's an option there to copy it. So we've already made a copy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna edit this. So the first thing we're gonna do is, for that spine label, Let's say instead of having a title, we're going to actually make it a spine label. So we're going to come in and we're going to actually add the option to add in the item call number. Now, from here, you'll see that the first option we have is the item biblio title. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to swap that out. So this works just like a template toolkit. So here you can see we have our open bracket the percentage sign and then the item dot biblio dot title so we're going to change that to item dot item call number and these work just the same as in your schema when you're writing a report and you would go to the schema to look at the items table it's going to be that same structure that you're using here so we're going to put that item call number um, right into that field so we're going to come down to the bottom and hit save. So now we've adjusted it. So we've got that um, call number there. So now when we go to, let's say, print a batch. And remember that batch is coming from your label tools creator. You got it. So now we're going to use that copy. Um, and we're going to come and we're going to use that same um, basic copy. We're going to print our batch. Print our labels. And there we go. We have our, um, our call number over here on the left, and we have our two barcodes here. Now, what about splitting call numbers, Kelly? <clears throat> splitting it onto another line, potentially? Yes. Yes. So uh, I've, I've um, done that in the past. Um, and I've used JavaScript to do so. Um, okay. okay. Um, but it can be configured right in the label plugin um, uh, 
on the template page there um, by adding okay. script tags to the bottom. Uh, you can add JavaScript. I can, Fantastic. Um, I can find that code too. Perfect. Uh, now, we, while I have Lucas talking about splitting call numbers, the label creator depends on the classification schema or how it splits the labels. Do you know if the um, this also depends on the schema? I'm not the schema, the classification scheme, or does it go straight out? So what JavaScript can do is um, um, pick a special character, like like a, a, a period that's in the call number, and split it okay. on that, or, or any other, or a blank space, and split it on that. Okay, perfect. So we can put that code in the blog post, and then that way anyone that wants to add that can copy and paste that in. Mm -hmm. sure. Excellent. Or, you know, Jesse, we, we at Bywater love tickets, so submit a ticket. Submit a ticket, and we can get it set up for you. All right, so now let's go in and let's make some changes to our layouts. Um, now, the layout, we're going to scroll down to the bottom. We made a copy of our, our basic as well. A lot of people would like to use a different font because the label creator itself only comes populated with three different fonts. So now if you want to use a different font, you have that option. And this is where we're going to call on uh, Lucas's expertise again. Lucas, tell us what fonts um, are, are safe to use and how should our users think about using fonts? Uh, you're going to also include a link to some uh, W3 pages. Yep. Uh, we have lists of um, all the what they call web safe fonts, um, meaning that they should work in every modern browser. Um, so you can um, be fairly confident that they will look right in any browser when you go to print them. Perfect. So why don't we make a few changes here. So you saw when we did that first printing, the first column was red and then we had a blue column and a green column. So maybe we're feeling confident that we got that spine label looking the way we wanted. Now we can come down and let's say right here where it says background color red, why don't we erase that? And what we'll do is now when we print it out, it won't be red any longer. And let's get zealous and let's change the font. <laughs> Change it to Veranda or Verdanda? <laughs> I'm not sure that the, the jury is out on that one. I'm not, not sure how to pronounce it. So let's ask our listeners if um, we're saying it wrong. We're saying it wrong. So we're going to want to change and add um, any type of font in the body. So up top where we have currently our width listed, um, we're going to come down and we're going to add in the font family that we want to use. So today we're going to go with the Verdana, AKA Veranda. <laughs> and we're going to make sure that we have that in there. So you can see it says font dash family colon space Verdana. Um, and you're going to want to make sure we have that um, semicolon in there um, followed by a closed bracket. So now we've updated the font and we've also removed a color. So we're going to come down to the bottom. We're going to save that and let's try printing one more time to see how that looks. And those websites will include in the blog post show you exactly how it should be written what Jesse added to that body. Perfect. So let's try this again. So now we're going to do a printing of our template and our layout and let's print those labels. Look at that. Oh, high five. Yes, this is great. And you can see that the um, font has also changed. It has changed. It's a little bolder. It must be for Dana. It's really bold. Excellent. Well, uh, Kelly, Lucas, thank you for joining us for our second session of the Label Creator. We'll have a blog post to follow with the links that we mentioned. Um, so if some of you are, are ready to take on um, some changes for the Label Maker plugin. We're excited. We're excited. That was what you can do. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to see you guys next week. Bye.